guys, it's your boy Andy C and uh, today I'll be talking about my red caliper covers for my Tesla Model 3. I recently just bought these on Amazon for about $140 to $150. Just got home. I'm going to install these and show you guys how it looks on my car. I went with the caliper covers because instead of actually painting the calipers itself, because I felt like the covers can actually protect it as well. If I don't like the red on there, I can always take that off. A lot of people are hating because I'm ruining the interior and exterior of my car throughout all the mods. They say it already comes sporty. Why do you need to do that? They hate us because they ain't us. Hate us because they ain't us. They don't hate us because they ain't us. They don't hate us. I'm used to it. They hate us because they ain't us. I'm going to show you guys a little bit of an unboxing video see what's inside and then we will move on to install these in my car so i'll catch you guys soon all right all right guys so i just got my red caliper covers in for my tesla model 3 so let's take a look at what's in the box here is the installation manual basically shows you how to install it on your car looks like the decals uh, comes with white and black depends on what color you like okay uh, it comes with so basically this is just a cover for it nice little cover put this aside and then this is what it looks like here oh guys this is really good quality you can see it's metal no plastic what it looks like inside. So this is uh, for the front. There's going to be a smaller piece for the back. So here we got the smaller piece here. Okay. What it looks like the decals will go right here. Okay. And then, uh, this looks like screws and everything that you need to tighten the caliper covers on your car, okay? And lastly, this is the other side. I like, I like this. Aluminum alloy, alloy caliper covers, okay? So it comes bubble wrap like this. So I ordered mine off Amazon. It took a few days to get here. Guys, these are beautiful. Good quality. And lastly, I got the last piece. So there it is. Okay. I really like the design of this. I went with the. Oh, there's like a little mark right here. Oh, we'll All right. So you're gonna need some tools to get these installed. Uh, there's the calipers here. I'm going to show you what tools you need. So you're going to need a, a torque wrench. You're going to torque the tires after you take it off and then put it back on to 129. Remember that number. And then you're going to need a 21 millimeter uh, socket. You're also going to need uh, the jack pads made for Teslas, looks like a hockey puck, okay? And then um, you're gonna need a, at least a two ton floor jack, okay? To get your car off the ground. Okay guys, so I'm just gonna show you one tire because there's it's pointless to do all four. It's pretty straightforward to put on those calipers. Mine are already installed, but I still want to show you guys one tire, just the process of it. So uh, once I take it out, you guys can take a look and then I will show you what to watch out for. Okay. All right, here we go. Okay. So the first thing you want to take out would be your hubcap. So there's, it's pretty easy to take off. You just grab the end of it at the very end right here, right here, and you just snap it out. 
right? And then when you go back in, it's the same thing, okay? Okay, so the next thing, as you can see, is there's five lug nuts. So you want to loosen those while the car is on the ground. If the car is already lifted, then the wheels will spin. Now, um, I forgot to mention earlier, you will need the 21 millimeter extended socket, okay? Uh, make sure it's extended because if it's the regular socket, you can do the job, but it's gonna be a lot harder. So next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna loosen all these, okay? Okay, now they're loose. Now I'm gonna insert this uh, floor jack pad underneath my car where the hole is. So let me show you guys where the hole is. If you go under here, give me a second here. Can you guys see that right here? There's the hole. So we're gonna put the, uh, the pad into the hole like that, okay? Make sure it's in all the way. Okay, next we are going to put the floor jack right where the hockey puck is, as you guys can see that, okay? Uh, I forgot to mention this in my last um, video. I Make sure you put uh, get the uh, low profile floor jack. As you can see, the car Teslas are very low. So you would want the floor jack to reach under the hockey puck, okay? Rather than, you know, uh, being too high. So it's gonna be impossible to uh, make your car go up. So now we're going to uh, jack these up and then we'll get to the next process. Okay, so the car is now off the ground, as you can see. Now what we're gonna do is loosen these lug nuts that we uh, gave a little tug before, and then we're gonna take the tire out, okay? Here we go. Okay, so tire is now off. So I'm gonna show you guys uh, what to expect when you install this thing, okay? So basically in the back here, you can see a screw right here, a screw right here, a screw right here. Comes with all the tools. You don't need extra tools to do this. Now, if you go through the back, you can see that there's a little cover right here that connects to the screw. Literally, it's a small piece. Just stick it in there and screw it in. And as you can see, it's not touching the actual brake. There's a lot of room, okay? Same thing as the bottom. Same thing as the bottom. There's a lot of room left. So it's not act touching the actual brake. It is kind of tedious right here though. I'll show you guys why. Uh, I'll post a picture of it. When I was installing it, it was, it was kind of hard to get the screw in, but this is how it looks, okay? It's the same thing for the other tires, so, um, there's no reason for me to make another video on that. So let's put the uh, tire back on and then take a picture of how it looks, okay? Okay, guys, so I put the car back onto the ground. I put the lug nuts back on, the wheel back on, but I did not tighten it all the way. Uh, this is where the torque wrench comes in. So make sure your torque wrench is gonna be at 129, as you can see, 129. And when you're going with it, when you're screwing it back in, you're gonna hear a click. Make sure you hear that click. You don't wanna over tighten it or under tighten it, okay? Let me show you guys. All right, guys, so the caliper covers are now in. As you can see, it's a little bit raining right now, but I just wanted to finish this video. That's how it looks. 
clean. I love them. If you guys like this video, make sure you uh, subscribe and like the video. And then uh, I'll keep making videos like this for you guys, all right?